everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are going thrifting today. I'm super excited. As always, I'll put the timestamp right here if you wanna fast forward right to the haul. But without further ado, let's go thrifting. So we're starting off at Goodwill and man, was it a good day. It seemed like from the very beginning, I was just finding things that I absolutely loved. Like for instance, this riser stand right here, I thought it was so incredibly cute. I had to pick it up and this tray, oh my goodness. You guys know how much I love these style trays and so honestly, I knew I was going to bring it home with me. I saw this vase, I thought it was really cute but ultimately decided not to get it. I also found a little bit of trinkets here and there that caught my eye but didn't get. I did see this plant though and thought it was really cute and adorable. I also found this little vase too. I thought it was cute, but the colors are not colors that I have in my home. So for that reason, I decided to leave it. And these candlestick holders were so unique and so cool. I honestly couldn't visualize them in my space though, so I left them behind. However, this brass vase was totally my style and therefore it came home with me. And I also see skinny vases like this all the time. I actually have a few, but I love this one. Next, I headed over to the art section. I was hoping to find some frames or some art, but unfortunately, I didn't find anything. And anytime I stumble across a candle in the thrift store, I always have to smell it just to make sure it passed that smell test for me in order for me to buy it. But I was so happy with the things that I found. It was so jam-packed with some beautiful items. Honestly, I could have left with so much more, but I really had to like rein it in. I did find this elephant though. I love elephants, if you know me. And I was going to leave it, but last second I decided to pick it up. And whenever I am in a thrift store, I always have to go over to the lamp section to see what they have, to see if anything catches my eye. And although they had some cute styles, nothing actually seemed right for me in my space. I did stumble across these potpourri pots, one of which that I actually got from a flea market a while ago. And I saw this container. I thought it was so cute, the outside of it and these floral arrangements. They're not real, but I just thought they were so beautiful, great for fall. And honestly, there was so much to look at in the store today for some reason. I had to reel it in though and make sure I did not take the whole entire store with me. Google's been holding out, but yeah. Wow, I already have a large haul. So we are still going to the other two places, but oh my goodness. Thrifting is fun. So I found this thrift store last week and so I decided I had to come back and just take a look around. Now it was a very small store so unfortunately it didn't take me long at all to go through the items but I did find some cute things. Um, I saw these candlesticks. Unfortunately though I couldn't pick them up and so eventually I just gave up. The lamps though, there was a beautiful brass lamp that I wish I picked up but I didn't. But all in all, I will say they had some good items. And although this is a small store, I do think it's worth to come back to again. So just finished up in the second place. Um, I didn't get a lot, which was probably a good thing. So we're gonna go to the antique mall that I tried to go to in the last video. Hopefully we actually make it to that one, but let's head on over. So after my failed attempt to go to the antique mall, I did come to Bethel Thrift to find this item right here. And thankfully it was still here, so I snatched it up. I also found this beautiful picture. I instantly fell in love. I know it's not everyone's style, but to me, it just seemed amazing. I also really love these pictures right here, but I ended up leaving them behind. And this thrift store had both fall related decor as well as winter holiday decor. I saw this arrangement that honestly, I wish I bought. I feel like there was a good mix of items offered in this thrift store on this particular day. I also saw this little tea container, which I thought was adorable and wreaths. But I'm trying to tell myself, not yet. This was a good day. I don't know how it happened to turn out to be a good day, but it happened to be a really good day. And so with that being said, it's thrift tall time. Okay, so first up is this tray. It's a really sizable rattan style tray. I definitely don't need any more trays, but this was just one I could have passed up. Look at these handles though, oh my goodness. But I was just really happy to pick this up. This was only $4.99, which honestly, I think it's a good price. So I saw this one very early on and I mean, and this one made my day, but in my opinion, the day just got better. Next up is this cute, adorable tray. I just had to get this and it's from 47th of Maine. So Finding this was pretty cool. I love this. I think it was the wood beading on the bottom too that really got me. I just love wood beads. I definitely see numerous ways for me to use this, but primarily obviously using it as a stand for decor just to give things more height. So this was 
$9.99, which honestly, I would have loved it to be a lower price, but it was so beautiful that I was just like, yeah, um, I want it. I'm actually really surprised too. There was a lot of people in Goodwill and no one picked this one up. So I was very surprised. So this one was a score in my book. Okay, so next up is actually a candle. Oh, sorry, wow. Hmm. So there was definitely a theme with this shopping trip, but I will say I picked up a candle and this is not the only candle I picked up, but there was just some really good smelling candles and I am a huge lover of like vanilla smelling candles. That's probably my favorite. Let me put the cap back on because I keep on smelling it. It just really reminds me of the holidays, but honestly, it's just a good smell all year round in my opinion. And it's funny because I actually bought a candle a long time ago from another haul and I don't even think I actually put it in the haul, but I recently brought it out and lit the candle and my husband goes, you've been holding out on me. Where have you been hiding this candle? I was like, it's been in the cabinet. This one was $3.99. So I think $3.99 for an unlit candle is actually pretty good and because I love the smell so much I think that's a pretty good price okay next up is this gorgeous ceramic I love this vase I love this vase so much so it's a pier one imports vase and it said it was made in Italy and pier one had it priced for $34.99 so this was priced at $12.99 I love the shape of it but also I just love the fact that it's got this black rim right here I think it's just a beautiful statement piece but I think $12.99 given its size is pretty decent I just couldn't help myself but I had to get it it's so pretty okay next up nothing too spectacular but I did get some greenery I mean honestly I think they look pretty decent they look realistic from a distance. I actually need more greenery, so this is good. But 99 cents each, which actually, I thought they were $1.99 a piece. So actually, I'm pretty happy about that. So yay. Okay, next up is this brass vase. So I love this shape. I really loved these handles when I first saw them. The handles were a very unique touch. I don't see handles like this and this large. I actually really love the braided detail, but I just thought it was incredibly cute. I really loved it. There is some discoloration just due to age. This one was $7.99. Would have loved to get it for a little bit cheaper, but I'd say $7.99 is pretty decent for this. Yes, really happy about this one. This one will probably have greenery in it too. Hmm, not too bad. It's kind of cute. Next up is another candle because I could not help myself. This is definitely like a floral type of candle smell, but it's so, oh my goodness. It smells so nice. And it's like a three wick candle, which is very surprising. I typically only find one wick candles. I think that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually really excited to try this out. This retails for $25.50 at the White Barn. Uh, Goodwill saw that and priced it for $9.99. You might've seen the cap off, but I took the cap off and smelled the candle, put it back on and literally put it back in my basket. I didn't see the price, the $9.99 price. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't know it was $9.99 and um, I'm gonna just blame that on the fact that it smelled so good. I was not worried about the price. I mean, now I am, but it is what it is. It's a gorgeous candle and I think honestly the white container of it too lends its hand to be a nice styling piece as well. Next up, this little cute greenery piece. Like again, I was just really drawn to greenery today. I really thought this one was really cute. Uh, surprisingly looked, maybe not on camera, but it looked pretty realistic. I mean, I guess realistic enough for a person who only owns fake plants. I think it's adorable. This was $1.99, which I think $1.99 for this is pretty good. So good price, really cute. I think it was just a good grab. Okay, next up, another stand. I got another stand. But this one was so beautiful. It's just so simple, but so beautiful at the same time. It's just exactly what I wanted. And this one definitely is going to be in my kitchen. While I would love to say that home-baked goods are gonna go on this, I am also being realistic with myself and saying that's probably not gonna happen. But it's so stunning. I love the color of the wood. It's got a texture to it. So I'd be willing to bet this is more of a decorative stand, but regardless, I love it. I love it because it kind of reminds me me of like aged wood and this one was $7.99 so the smaller one was $5.99 so I think $7.99 was a decent price for this. This was a must-have for me despite the fact I already bought a stand but too beautiful to pass up. Next up is something that I have a similar style of but I could not pass this one up. This is got style. I'm pretty sure these are almost like wine decanters 
but this one is really decent size and I just really love it. I think it's really beautiful. Again, it's got that slant that I absolutely love. I just really think they're simple and elegant. Now this one was $7.99, which honestly, $7.99 is a pretty good price, I'd say, for the size of this. And yeah, I'm not complaining about that price at all. Okay, so the last piece that I got from Goodwill was this. So in our household, we have agreed to not decorate for the holidays before Thanksgiving. Despite that though, I had to get these. These are just so beautiful. Unopened candles with some like holly berry kind of style rings around them. I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling a little little early and I'm not going to but I will say it's been a little hard to not like get all the stuff out and decorate but I am also not a big seasonal decorator and that's probably why I'm a little bit more like wanting to get into it my decor for the most part doesn't change other than like big holidays like this and that is only because have you seen the hauls that I get I honestly could not do multiples of different seasons in my household on top of the amount of things that I buy for my home for decor. Uh, so to be honest, I really don't have fall decor. I'm like an all around decor kind of person. And normally very much into neutrals, but this was just undeniably cute. I love the red. The red just makes me feel so cheery. Now this one was $6.99. Honestly, I'm not gonna complain about that price. It's so cute, I love it. Sorry, I really thought that was the last of the Goodwill haul, but I guess not. The last one was this elephant. Honestly, elephant collecting has been just a very new thing for me, but they make me so happy. I was about to leave this elephant though. But then I just thought about the giraffe that I missed out on and I've been thinking about that giraffe ever since I left it. So it was like I'm not making that same mistake twice. Now I want to say this is going to be my last elephant for a really long time. I want to say that. This one was so cute. This one was five dollars which is a little pricey but just one more elephant for me. You can hang out with that guy. That's cute. I like it. I like it there. The next place I went to was Noah's Attic. I only got one thing from there and that is because it was a cash only place and so I literally only had a dollar on me. But I really thought this one was cute. I love the shape and this green. It's a really pretty subdued color. I love it. Just really happy I picked it up. I think a dollar is a pretty good price for that. So I don't think I explained it but the reason why I didn't go to the antique mall. I saw a posting for an antique mall on Facebook Marketplace. Now, they didn't state what the store's name was, and they only actually put the street that it was on, not actually the address. That is why I can't find it. So on that street, there is literally like five antique stores. Like the street goes on for maybe like three miles, and there's like five antique stores on that street. And so instead of just chancing it and walking into an antique store. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this again. So instead, I went to Bethel Thrift, which I've been meaning to go to anyways. So I basically needed to see if I could find the matching set that I left behind, the other half of this. And thankfully I did. Now the reason I didn't buy it in the first place was this really weird liquid in this. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? I can take it out, I can wash it. It's not that big of a deal. Turns out, you can't take it out. It's literally just a decor piece of green liquid. Looking at it now though, I don't think it's oil. So I'd be willing to bet it's probably like dish soap if I had to guess. But these two are so cute together still. It will still have a space in my home. This one was $9. It was half off, so this was only $4.50. Next thing I got was this candle. Honestly, I love the fact that it was like a smoky glass and it has the ribbed lines on it. I thought it was so cute. It was priced at $4, but with 50% off, it was only $2. So I think that's pretty incredible to have a candle this size and only have it for $2. And the great thing about this too, I love this container so much that once the candle melts away, I can actually reuse it and for something else, whether it be for storage or something. Regardless, I think it's really cute and I was really happy to pick this up for only two dollars. So finally the last item was this picture. You're either gonna love this picture or you're gonna hate this picture but I love this picture. I really love that it had this black bottom on it but it looks so old and just aged on top and obviously it was made to look like that. That's not how old it is and the thing is too is that I absolutely adore pictures. Pictures are unnecessarily cute. They don't have to be this cute yet they are and I don't like it but 
but this one was just so cute. I could not pass this one up. This one was priced at $7 and with 50% off was only $3.50. So for a sizable ceramic picture like this, I think that's an incredible price. But this one honestly could be a standalone piece. I think I'm gonna try this one out with greenery. If I don't like it with greenery, I'll probably just keep it as is. This one was definitely a quirky one, but at the same time, I love it so much. And so I wasn't gonna pass this up. And this one rounds out the entire collection. Whew. So to say I was excited about this haul was an understatement. I was really like giddy and goofy the entire time that I was recording because I was just so happy and I feel like it was very apparent. But I am so happy about this haul. It's such an amazing haul. Like anything that I wanted to kind of like elevate my home, I feel like this was the haul that really would help me accomplish that. Although not a lot of vintage items, I'm still really happy with what I got because I feel like they're just so beautiful and I really think they're going to be like timeless pieces as well. I'd say this is up there with one of my absolute favorite hauls. The one that surpasses it though is this video right here. So if by chance you are new here and you haven't seen it, if you like this stuff, you're certainly gonna love that stuff then. So if you haven't checked it out already, that's a good one to follow up with. But I wanna say thank you so much for thrifting with me and thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! But a really cute to What are those things called? Conscious SpongeBob, the, the magical conch. Is that a con, con You know what, it's too late for my mind to think.